What up, everybody? It's, uh, Sven Diesel here. I'm going to be tying up uh, Morse mouse using a synthetic material. First thing is, uh, when you get your hooking device, make sure this point is not uh, exposed. Otherwise, you're going to nick your thumb a few times, so make sure it's flush. Test to make sure your hook is in the vise. And for this, we're going to be using some uh, Nano Silk 100D. I want to make sure you use a 100D or 200D, otherwise, uh, you could be cutting your foam. And we'll go ahead and start the thread and work our way back to the uh, the uh, bend of the hook. And um, this this is a basically a Morse mouse that we're going to be tying up. But just instead of using a, a natural material of hair, we're going to be using a synthetic. And so for the uh, the tail, we're still going to be using a rabbit strip. And this uh, color is charcoal. You can use brown, tan, black, white. And we're going to do the the length of the tail about. Um, one and a half to 1.75 uh, times the length of the shank and I'll just go ahead and uh, measure and cut and as I um, you can rip the uh, the hair off this strip but uh, sometimes I just find it easier and almost less messy to cut it and you know if you're one of those uh, you know multi-use tires you can take this uh, this rabbit uh, uh, hair or fur and uh, use it in some sort of dubbing blend if you want but um, there we go that's the uh, the length of the uh, the tail we're gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and tie that in you only need about three sixteenths of an inch and uh, I usually do uh, two overlapping wraps over itself and then we'll do a couple 45s work our way back and forth and really start to crank that down, secure it in. And so um, there we go. Make sure you get these nice and tight. Um, and check to make sure. I like the length of that. And uh, we're good to go. I forgot to mention to leave a little bit of hair on the end of that strip. But um, for the foam, I usually, this is six millimeter foam. I usually cut it to be um, a little bit longer than the uh, about the same length as the tail actually one and a half times the length of the shank and I just cut a little block like this and I usually get about five or six uh, uh, pieces out of it so I'll just angle the first cut so that there's a taper and then I will start with a smaller end um, and then work my way to a greater taper and that the large ends usually about the 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 width of the gape here and um, that's kind of how I've been tying and fishing it so uh, pretty easy to always use the hook to measure your materials and when you get done you kind of see here's a block of foam that I just cut up so I can tie up you know five or six uh, of these uh, mice at a time but to decrease a little bit of the bolt just cut a little 45 off the tip where we're going to be tying it in and that's on the smaller end and I'm going to line it up with the end of the rabbit strip do two uh, loose wraps kind of crank down a little bit and then 45 it work my way back making sure to kind of zigzag and now I'm going to start cranking down on this you gotta be careful when you use a thinner thread or especially with the, the nano silk that likes to cut foam but um, I like that actually I'm gonna take a little bit further back and there we go just make sure that's secure and of course on most of my flies for durability I'll end up uh, using a little bit of uh, glue this is a zappy gap just put a little drop on each side and uh, let that soak in kind of put a little much there maybe I'll just try to spread it up the shank of the hook just use my finger I always got super glue or some sort of cement on my finger but uh, that's how I guess you know fly tire I guess I don't know but um, I'm going to put a little hot spot in the back, a red uh, hot spot. I saw this on somebody's pattern one time. I don't know who it was. If somebody knows, let me know. But I just really liked it, and I've been doing it as a habit now. And so I'll just put a little bit of Simperfly Ice Dub on here in the color red and just do uh, loops over itself just to create a little hot spot um, red um, in the back. And I'll just secure that, making sure it's nice and pretty. And this is where we're going to be using synthetic material. Uh, I got Semperfly Extreme String. Um, I've tied these in all sorts of colors. Uh, this is basically a synthetic uh, uh, material that uh, doesn't absorb water. So when you're tossing a, a mouse, a lot of times uh, it really helps to doesn't you know get heavy like it does with like a rabbit. 
and um, you know it makes it super easy it's durable this stuff uh, seems to take some hits and not uh, fray and so I've been very impressed with it and I'll show you how easy it is basically I tied it in and I'm just going to take my time palmering these back so every wrap I kind of just preen those uh, fibers back it's got a little bit of flash in it um, I don't know if the flash is beneficial uh, uh, when you're, you're night fishing, but I was actually fishing this yesterday. Um, in it was about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, and we were getting hit. So, you know, maybe that was the attractor, or they were just seeing the silhouette. I don't know, but uh, I'm always a fan of flash. And so, um, here's a little trick to getting a little bit denser body. I tied three forward, and then I kind of wrap back over the wraps to preen those back and it adds a little bit of bulk to the body on the shank but also um, gets a little bit thicker of uh, uh, what would be the silhouette of the body but um, basically wrap three forward three wraps and then kind of wrap back over those wraps as you're pinching it so right there and then make sure to crank down never to lose tension as you're wrapping these and you know if you I usually measure a length of this this is a size um, usually fish these in four sixes uh, that's about what I've really fished them because this is what I'm using for a kind of a smaller mouse um, but uh, I'm basically using about six inches of uh, extreme string each time and uh, printing it back as I go as you get close to the eye I kind of really like to get a little bit of a, a denser uh, wrapping over itself several times and then really kind of cranking down as I um, uh, wrap around. I'm, I'm holding the hook as I'm pulling down um, just to uh, make sure you know as I pull down sometimes I feel I'm too strong but we'll go ahead and tie that off with a forward and behind wraps uh, making sure it's secure I'll uh, trim it out and then give a couple more uh, wraps here uh, once I print the fibers back just to kind of clean up that head um, not that it's going to be noticeable but it helps when uh, we're going to be tying this foam piece in so I'm just going to basically part the, uh, the the string here on the top kind of down the middle similar to what you did in the early 90s with your long hair and gel you know the part down the middle fold the foam up and over making sure that I've got about a quarter of an inch hanging over the eye uh, but we're going to be tying in just behind the eye and I'm going to hold that secure and do two loose wraps over itself and then on the third one um, making sure that it's in the right place I'll start to crank down and then on my third wrap really uh, make sure it's positioned right and start securing that with some really tight wraps and then I typically like this to kind of ride a little bit the, the tip a little bit up and so I uh, do a few wraps in front just kind of uh, keep that up a little bit um, kind of gives it a little bit of a popper effect if you strip it in you know as you're jerking it um, but uh, that's just uh, what I do I, I, I know some of the, the traditional ones it just is going down but um, let's go ahead and whip finish it cut our thread out and uh, this is another little trick I do we're going to do the same thing we did on the bottom but this time use a resin um, uh, just I like using uh, UV curing resin because it uh, it, uh, it allows me to do this fast I don't have to wait for glue to dry but I'm just going to pull those fibers down to each side run a nice bead of uh, resin uh, especially on my thread uh, on my whip finished and then kind of just work my way down and I don't want this to soak in too much um, but uh, it just kind of helps secure everything on the bottom but it's going to basically cause those uh, the extreme string fibers to go out and so as I cure that um, you can see right now they're just hanging out to the sides and uh, that's it I mean that's pretty much the whole thing uh, you can whip these out really fast um, I caught fish on them it's simple it's easy the Morse mouse has been uh, very effective uh, for a lot of fishermen uh, this is just a, a way of uh, using a new synthetic material to uh, take a great fly and uh, you know fish it even more so there we go that's uh, the fly thank you